Hey Cancer, I'm here to do your May 7th through 21st reading to see what you guys are up to, what's going on, what's going to happen, what you can look forward to, what kind of fuckery you're getting into. No. <laughs> Cancers, Cancerians, my little Krabby Patties. What's going on with my crabs? Please like and share and subscribe to my channel. For personal readings, you can contact me at Firewitch Tarot on Instagram or through email. Everything's in the description box. Let's see what's going on. I decided to do something more magical, a more magical approach. You see how that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Cancers. Okay, nice. Getting out of feeling left out of the cold. The need to go on an adventure. Oh, finally getting out of your head. Yay. <laughs> Some of you are finally getting out of your head, finally feeling like you're getting over of no longer being left out in the cold. Maybe you could have been, maybe you rejected an offer of love. Maybe someone in the past, maybe they tried to offer you some, some love and, or an offer and you rejected them for some reason. You, some of you feel the need to go on an adventure to explore. But that can happen right now. Looking forward to your next adventure. Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. So you're, I see that you guys are trying to catch up financially. Some of you are trying to catch up financially. energy is the queen of wands reversed okay so you, some of you weren't speaking your mind about something but that was in the past okay so you have the hangman and what is this death death card reversed the nine of cups reversed and hangman reversed so I'm seeing here in the past you you weren't allowing a, a something to die. You weren't allowing a transformation to happen because of somebody acting cruel with you, heartless with you, and you were no longer wanting to hang around and wait for this person. You're you were stuck in your head about a certain situation, but you are no longer stuck in your head. You're getting out of that mental conflict and um, you're no longer feeling left out in the cold. This is present. No longer feeling left out in the cold. Um, recovering from financial, financially recovering. Um, taking the time out, taking time out from vacation. Working on your money so that you can go on vacation but um, you're no longer waiting around for bullshit you're gonna not you're not gonna take people's shit anymore but you know with the death card reversed here you guys gotta let certain things die a certain thought process die so you can be happy but you do have to go through transformation because with the death card reverse it's you're not allowing the new to come in you're blocking it and if you're blocking it certain cycles are going to keep going and you don't want that to happen but i'm seeing here it's uh, it's pretty good reading though no longer filling out left out in the cold working on your financial abundance trying to catch up financially on certain things no longer stuck in your head anymore you uh, rejected some kind of offer of love or rejected some kind of offer, but it was a necessary rejection. No longer waiting around for somebody or something. 
could have been dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah. And you're no longer uh, trying to hold back what you, what you want to say to people. You're going to start saying, speaking your mind, regardless. That's good. All right. Let's see what's going on with my cancers. Come on. Okay. So we have the Queen of Spring. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life. So I guess you feel the need that there's, you have certain people in your life that want to help you in any way, shape, and form, obviously, whether it's family or friends or coworkers, and sometimes you, you just listen to what they say, you nod your head, and you don't take their advice. So, But Spirit is telling you not to do that. Listen to what people have to say. Take their advice. Always balance out work with home. Do not bring work into your home life because that will cause conflict as well. When you're home, you're home. When you're at work, you're at work. That balance, the yin and the yang. Okay, you got to hold that balance. You have justice reverse. Justice in the upright says, take the time to review details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decisions. So you could have felt like felt like you didn't get justice in something and that's why you re you rejected an offer maybe at work or in some kind of situation maybe you felt like you didn't get the justice you deserved and then you have the tent of summer it says an emotionally fulfilling life with family and friends raising children wisely people you can trust so you're you there's a time in your life, this is the time in your life where you are feeling emotionally fulfilled. You have your family life, you have your work life. Things are going good for you. You're around people you can trust. Before you, you felt like certain people you couldn't trust, but you know, friends and family, certain friends and family you can trust. They're there to help you, to help you raise your children. You have a fulfilling life, but there's something that's going on where you feel like you need justice and that's why you rejected an offer or maybe you applied for something and they rejected your offer or rejected you and something like that. Let's take a look at your romantic life. What's going on in your romantic life? I'm seeing that something's stopping you from going after what you want for some of you cancers, not all of you. Something's stopping you from going after what you want and working on your on your money because someone was cruel to you. And maybe you feel like the world scares you sometimes. <laughs> not all of you, just some of you. And maybe you feel like um, that you're going to be screwed in some way, but... Don't worry about it. The past is the past. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Don't be scared to flirt. You know, show your leg off a little bit. Flirt with your partner. Flirt a little bit with people around you. It's all good. Engagement. Your love life is extending to a higher level of commitment. So, like I said, you're having a you have that happy home life right now. You're the house, the job, the relationship. Yeah, you guys go through up and downs, but things are good now. You're out of your head. Like it, you see, the nine of swords is reversed. Before you guys had this in the upright, it's reversed now. You guys are finally out of your head. The relationship that you're in with your partner, you guys are becoming. You feel like you guys are becoming closer. You guys are flirting a lot with each other now. You guys are going on little dates here and there. Spoiled. Being spoiled. 
Oh, look at that. Recon uh, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, like I said in the beginning, maybe someone tried to offer you some love and you rejected them. It could have been someone from the past, too. Maybe someone tried to pink panther your ass and creep back in and say, hmm, maybe I can get a little something, something off of her. They try to come in and flirt. Someone from your past could be coming in to offer you a, a cup of love, but you reject it. Or them you, or you them, whatever. Sometimes I forget what I say. <laughs> well, there you go, Cancers. I hope this resonated with you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And may all the magic be with you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, have a good time.